Hey guys, so I'm here with my September favourites videos. I haven't made a favourites videos in a videos <laughs> video in a long time. Um, but when I asked you guys what videos you liked seeing, a favourites video was actually one of them. So yeah, I'm trying to if I'm gonna do monthly wrap ups and favourites, I'm trying to get them recorded and uploaded as close to the you know the end of the month as possible because I think the longer you leave it to do it, it sort of loses momentum and you know I just don't think it's worth uploading it halfway through October really but so yeah if I'm going to do them I'm going to hopefully upload them the end of the month beginning of the next month kind of thing as they should be so as always I'll start with my bookish favourites of the month um the first one being the not so subtle art of being a fat girl um if you've seen my wrap up video you'll know I really really enjoyed this um found it really inspiring and it was just an excellent read um i'm a big <coughs> losing my voice big fan of tess holiday and to know a little bit more about her and sort of the struggles that she's been through was um really great i really loved it and she wrote it as if she was speaking to you um yeah really 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 enjoyed that and the other one was one i read on my kindle so i don't have the cover to show you but it was because you're mine by lisa Claypus, which is a regency romance novel which was excellent i gave it five out of five if you enjoy historical particularly regency romance i think you'll really really enjoy it um it's made me want to read more Lisa Claypus. So I was quite surprised because I've read a trilogy by her before, her Bow Street Runner series, um, but literally have never read um, any more from her since. So I read that, really, really enjoyed it and highly recommend. So a couple of other favourites for the month. I have some makeup favourites. Um, first thing is a bit random and it's this um, mirror. I literally picked this up in Primark. You're thinking that's not a mirror. It has it's black um it's a mirror i don't want to blind anybody but it's literally a mirror Hi. um and i got it because i've got a lot of compact mirrors um i've got you know a big vanity mirror um but sometimes when you're doing your makeup and stuff it's quite hard to do it with like a compact um on or if you're putting eyeshadow on it's hard to do it in the mirror that comes in the palette so i got this it's really handy to just hold like this and either like sometimes pluck my eyebrows or you know um do my eye makeup and stuff it's really convenient um and i really really like it, it was a bargain it was like one pound fifty so i love that it's just nice and compact my second makeup favorite is um this highlighter palette um, is the Aurora Glow Kit from Anastasia. I'm just going to say Anastasia Beverly Hills because I know some people say Anastasia. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Um, I talked about the other one as well, um, the Moonchild one, which I love equally. I love both of them, um, but this is just the one I got more recently. Um, this is what it looks like. It's quite hard to get the glow um there we go um and i absolutely i just love these highlighters i've got one on today i don't know if anyone's gonna be able to tell i have the blue one orion on today and they just they are really blinding they're like pow but you can put them on quite lightly or you can get it so that they are blinding um it's really how you like it um but i'm really liking the blue one today uh, that's the first time I've tried the blue one actually um, and I love it and they also go really nicely in the inner corner um, of your eye when you do eyeshadow that's not what I've got on my eyes today but I have been wearing it like that as well and enjoyed it just as much um, another favorite I haven't worn this out because I haven't really had anywhere to wear it if that makes sense but I have been playing with it and I absolutely love it um, and that's the Ciate London glitter flip um you've probably seen these either on youtube or on instagram or facebook and stuff and they're a liquid lipstick that you put on you wait a minute and then you go like that and suddenly there's loads of glitter um they are awesome um i picked uh the color what did i pick iconic and like it's a really dark blue black when you put it on and then when you rub your lips together it like goes all glittery so it kind of looks like a night sky i absolutely love it i don't know if you're going to be able to tell from this alone 
Oh, uh. but it's, it is extremely dark. And then when you rub your lips together, I am tempted to get a couple more of these. Um, it looks like the darker ones are better than the lighter ones from sort of what I've seen. So I am tempted to get a red. Um, so yeah, but I just think it's so cool and I desperately wanted one and um, I'm really happy with it. And if you follow me on Instagram, I've put a couple of pictures up, I think, of me wearing this um, and I'm obsessed. I never thought I would like blue lipstick, um, but I really, really like this. So it's made me think about wearing um, sort of different blue lipsticks and sort of seeing what they're like. So I also have... Um, a couple of jewellery favourites this month. Um, uh, my boyfriend got me a ring, I think it was at the end of August. It was just after I made my sort of where I've been video. Um, he gave me this ring. Um, it's an infinity ring. Oh, no, I'm not showing this off to the best at all. Um, so yeah, it's a little infinity ring and it's got um, an inscription on the in side of the band which is special to us um so yeah it's just an infinity ring and i absolutely love it i think it's so beautiful um so yeah he's he's really sweet bless him and then i bought myself literally at the end of september i bought this and i'm loving it already i bought myself a thumb ring i have wanted a silver thumb ring for years i mean years and years and years i've always gone on about how i've wanted a silver thumb ring and I finally, finally found one that I both liked and fits. And it's, it's like a woven, woven one with two, two bands of silver really wrapped around like that. It's really hard to show it. But, um, yeah, really, really enjoying that. And then my last jewellery favourite is this. Um... I have always had sort of an interest in fossils and uh, things like that. And then on bank holiday Monday, so August 28th, I want to say, me and Beth went to Charmouth along the Jurassic Coast. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know this, um, to look for fossils. We didn't find a single fossil and I was majorly disappointed. So I decided that I would buy one. So I ordered this just from Amazon um and yeah it's just a nice pendant um i have been wearing it a lot but of course today i'm not and it sits kind of here on me um and i love it and it gives me serious ursula from the little mermaid vibes as well when i wear this um but yeah i just absolutely love it i think it's really simple um and i like to wear it with this one as well because it sits sort of above it um i can wear both together which i really really like and then my last favorite of september is my new handbag i had quite a lot of new bags in september um but they're not all sort of everyday handbags they're sort of evening bags so i haven't really used them yet um but i've been using this one since i got it and i absolutely love it and it looks like this um, it's a Disney villains handbag. I love that it's got the old school villains on it. Ursula, Cruella, um, Queen of Hearts, Maleficent. Um, yeah, I just, I absolutely love this bag. Um, it's by Loungefly. Um, so yeah, I've just absolutely been loving this bag. So that's all my favourites for September, guys. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Happy reading.